Well, prices on everything are through the roof. Inflation at a 40-year high last month, shooting up more than 9% just over last June. From filling up your car to paying the rent, we are shelling out more money in almost every aspect of our lives. So what keeps driving up the prices? We asked the experts. Local 10's Terrell Fournay live now with the rising cost of living. Terrell. Yeah, just for an example, take a $20 bill. Years ago, you could head into the grocery store and get quite a bang for your buck in terms of what you could put in your shopping cart out of the aisles. Well, now this new report means that your money just doesn't go as far. From commodities at the grocery store to the necessity at the gas pump, chances are your wallet is filling the pinch thanks to a new report that revealed the U.S. economy's inflation rate is at 9.1 percent higher when compared to June of last year. I think it's the highest in four decades. We have not seen anything like this. That number surprised experts like Eric Smith, a certified financial planner. The bad news means many families across South Florida will have to make tough choices, fill the fridge or fill their gas tanks. You know, we're spending more, but the problem is that our wages aren't necessarily keeping up with that in a lot of cases. So even if a person gets a 3% increase and you have 9.1% inflation, you're still 6.1% behind in your purchasing power from a year ago. Real estate and rent is up too. The average rate for a one-bedroom apartment hit $1,700. Here's the big picture in numbers specific to Miami-Dade and Broward. Handing over $100 in the year 2000 would be like spending $181 today. And spending $100 last year would be like spending 107 bucks and some change this year, a 7.6 increase in a single year, but still lower than the national average. I think that the Florida economy is in a lot better shape than a lot of other parts of the country, too. It doesn't appear to be. It seems to be that this is, this is the attractive state to come to. We don't have a state income tax. We have great weather, as you know. So those positive signs could help keep the real estate market stable, but the gas prices certainly did not help in uh, keeping that inflation rate very, very high. We also know that the feds are expected to make another dramatic increase with those interest rates, but there is also a fear that a recession could be looming sometime down the line. But Eric Smith, that uh, financial expert that we spoke with, feels that because the inflation is set so high, most of us would be cushioned from feeling the dramatic effects from it, which means that it won't be like the recession, the Great Recession from 2008. Reporting live from Hallandale Beach, I'm Terrell Fournay, Local 10.